What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Trigger Comms, favorite nerd, and today we are looking at Mech Ideas Piston, which is their homage to Trigger Con Decepticon Crankcase. And I have a special place in my heart for Crankcase. I had him as a kid for some reason. I have no idea why. I, you had these two guns, and they flipped over here, and you hit the button, and you know. I had him, and I, I always liked him for whatever reason. Not not exactly sure why. I didn't have any fiction to place him with, you know, as a, as a young lad. But I did like him, so I was kind of excited when they chose him as the repaint. And I use the word paint very loosely because this guy has even less paint than this guy. And it is mainly uh, just one circle that's missing. Uh, they didn't put that circle on there. They didn't paint it with something else, which they probably should have. The good news is is that the, the dark colors hide lack of paint better than bright colors. So that's just, that's just the way things go. Rolls like a champ. Current moves, uh, the guns are very reminiscent of the G1s, if you remember them. Um, so we're starting off, and we're not going to take too much time with this guy, because I went pretty in-depth with uh, Gauntlet. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that one out first. We're just kind of going to move through this one. But he is cool, and I do and I do like him. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's it really comes down to that price point. It's 30 bucks, so, you know, it doesn't it doesn't hurt if it's not all that maybe it could be. So without further ado, let's transform. We're going to go from vehicle to bot because we went from bot to vehicle last time. So you can take these off. And like I said, they look very reminiscent of the GM ones. And you can even take this off. We'll do that more this time for transformation. And you get kind of the nuts and bolts here. And you can undo this bit here. If you can, I guess I can. I'm not sure if I got the nails to do it. This guy's joints actually are tighter than the other. There you go. And then you can get his arms up and out of the way. Which kind of gives you a little bit of slack to move the feet down. Move the feet down there. Lock that into place. Flip the head up. Square the arms away. You know, nothing really to it. Fold in these uh, kibble bits here, and it collapses nicely. And then you can do whatever you want with this. How about, I'll tell you what, just for to switch it up, we'll give him this shield here. And then we'll... These go in there, and it's the same problem I had with the other one. Let's see if I can. Hmm. Eating me up. Let me see if I can't do it off camera. So I got it. It wasn't simple by any stretch of the imagination. It, I really had to put some pressure on it in order to get in there, and I did have to move these flaps out of the way in order to get the leverage. Um, so I'm going to mess around with that and see if I can't work something out but I do love this look of the both you know the the dual kind of guns over the shoulder it's just like his G1 I'll probably take the shield off because I'm not really crazy about the way that looks but you can do it um yeah I think that's a bit better and uh let's do some size comparisons real quick just some different bots so you can get an idea there he is with his mold mate and there he is with a fans project insecticon so anyway I'm happy with this guy. He has less paint than the other one, still suffers the same problems. He even has one more bit of a problem. If you want to see the articulation and all that, look at the other video. Because of his chin sculpt here, and I'll see if I can't get that a little closer for you. Because of his chin sculpt there, it, it, it hits that and prevents it from looking down. Um, but you get the up and, of course, the side to side and all that. Other than that, it's, it's exactly the same. The head sculpt is nice. It's not setting the world on fire, but it is nice. He's 30 bucks, and he's worth 30 bucks. And I also have a bit of a soft spot for him. I kind of feel like he's the underdog here, and you know, a lot of people wanted the Iron Fist and didn't really care for this guy, and I can kind of relate to that. And now, our special guest. I thought you said it was going to be Piao. It said YouTube celebrity. What was I supposed to think? You know, I can hear you. Okay? And there's a thing called feelings. This is bullshit. 
But I say if you had the original as a kid and you were a fan of it, or you're, I think he's popping up in the comics now, if you're a fan of his character, and or if you like the other mold, this guy's worth it. And it's 30 bucks. But if times are tight and you're trying to squeeze every penny and you have no connection to this character, you know, it, life would probably move on just fine without him. Uh, the world would keep a spinning. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care. And now our special oh. guest. Oh, sorry. Do it again. <laughs> Cut. Say it loud enough where I can hear. I'll give you a thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> he falls down the stairs. And you know, I can hear you. I can hear you. And there's a thing called feelings. This is bull. <laughs> <laughs> Because they see the mask. How was the clapping? Like, yeah, tell them to stay in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're the clapping well. Dude, I'll do this all night.